So I just um, wanted to do a quick update. Day two on uh, on Matt Roberts, and day two consisted of fasting day, which actually came as a as a as a blessed relief after um, the copious amounts of food that I found on day one. I, I, I really did struggle with that. I, I didn't manage to to eat everything that was on the menu. I just couldn't physically fit it in. I don't know if it's because I started the day off with an omelette, which kind of, it, I mean, it fills you up anyway, but then went from the omelette to the, the first snack, the lunch, blah, 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 all the way through. And it was just, uh, uh, by the time I'd, I'd had my workout and I was supposed to have been sitting down having tea, I'd got no room left. So I had, kind of had to skip tea. I think I had something a little bit later on. It was just a, a bowl of yogurt or something. But really really struggled to eat all the food i don't know if that will change the more i get into it and the more exercise i'm i'm bringing into the equation i'm, I'm not sure we'll see about that one but anyway on to day two day two was fasting and started off at half past six in the morning the idea is to get all of your food done and eaten in an eight hour window which i managed to do started at say half past six so breakfast consisted of um, two tablespoons of porridge oats with blueberries, which I made a right mess of. I'm, I'm not, because it's, it's such a small amount of porridge oats in that, and, and I put way too much water in it, so it ended up like a, just a, I don't know, a, a bowl of snotty slop, really, because it just didn't thicken up like you expect porridge to. But you know, go on, live and learn. And it, it, <laughs> I ate it anyway, so that that was kind of that. That was okay. It, nice, you know. Normally, I, I want to put something like golden syrup or sugar or whatever in in porridge. However, the blueberries did give it that nice bit of a, a sweetness. It kind of lifted it, so that was good. And then dinner and tea, were basically the same thing. It was um, salad made up of, however, it's made up in, with combination of leaves and a couple of vegetables and whatnot. Um, and then. I think it's 150 grams of protein from uh, either lean meat, fish, or eggs. Uh, I, I took mine from chicken, chicken in, in both of the meals. So I had I had the same meal for lunch and then my what would be classed as my tea at uh, about half past two, and then that was it. And then there's nothing then until half past six this morning when you're back onto and now onto day three, but. To be fair, I, I didn't really miss any food. I've been kind of trying to keep myself hydrated and that, so plenty, drinking plenty of water throughout the day. Also, in the afternoon now, I'm having a cup of um, the, is it matcha tea? Which, it's quite pleasant really. I mean, green tea is not the, the best sort of flavor. Some people can do it, some people can't. I, I kind of, I do struggle with it a little bit, but, the, the, this matcha tea, it's, it's all right actually. It's not. I usually find green teas a little bit too bitter for my taste, but this stuff is, you know, it's, it's quite pleasant actually. And, and I do feel it does lift my mood a bit as well, it, which is, you know, a bit of a bonus really. Um, so yeah, so that finished at half past two. This morning I got up onto day three and I had my breakfast, which which consisted of. That was it. I've only had it like an hour ago, and I've gone. My mind's gone already. Um, it was 150 grams of Greek yogurt with a teaspoon of cashew nut butter and a handful of blueberries. I think you're supposed to put a handful of raspberries in there as well. I didn't have them, so I just had a, a decent sized handful of uh, blueberries. That was really nice. I really enjoyed that. It's right up my street. That breakfast is. I might kind of see if you can if you can mix and match what's on offer I, I don't know if if the way that the, the diet is designed is that all the breakfasts are about the same sort of calorie and nutritional value or if you do you really need to stick to, to this thing sort of like religiously do you have to have what's on offer every day can you kind of mix you know days day eight dinner and have that on day four or whatever can can you switch them out because I've noticed looking through it there's a few of the menus that I'm kind of looking at thinking I'm going to struggle with that one because it's not really to my taste but again if anybody else has, has done this just please let, let me know and, and you know 
uh, just a, a bit of advice on the, the diet side of it. Is it okay to mix and match it? But apart from that, everything's going pretty well. I do feel as if, uh, say, since I've come, I don't know if it's just a side effect of being back from holiday for a week or whatever, but, you know, only been on it for like three days and I do feel that I've kind of, I've lost that bloated feeling that I had. I know you said at the start of it, that, say, just coming back from Kalamaki and, and eating way too much food while I was there, that, but I, I've lost that and I've lost it a lot quicker than I thought I would. So hopefully, you know, things are going in the right direction and uh, keep you updated. Next update will be at the end of day three um, and I'll, I'll let you know how the, the workout's gone because I think, again, it's another big workout today. So fingers crossed.